I have used carding with Carter as just a, a life tool. When we first started doing this, struggled, right? Not very good. And we would spend days out here just riding and riding because I just assumed he would know things because he grew up at a racetrack. He knew a lot more about racing than most kids because he was around it. But then when you come out here, you realize they, they don't know anything about the, the driving part. If you want to get better, you, you have to work at it. And I was like, it's not just carding. I'm like, life is that way. Whatever, whatever you want to do, if you want to be successful, you got to work hard at it and then you'll get rewarded, hopefully. I've been doing this for four years now. So, I mean, I just keep learning and learning. Obviously, my dad made it in NASCAR, but I just want to try to carry on that legacy and do really well in motorsports. Kind of a normal morning for us here at a, at a club race is get here pretty early, right? Before the sun came up. Dude, it's a little chilly this morning. Mm -hmm. We already essentially have everything ready because we practiced yesterday. Uh, and then I kind of prepped everything last night. So early morning for us. Essentially two races in one day, uh, but the, it's, it happens pretty quick. Oh, I love racing. From like when I was 10 and I first started racing Briggs, you've come a long ways. It's pretty cool to get to race like this. Well, the first time I went in that, I almost pooped my pants, but <laughs> 70 miles an hour in the X30, it's pretty fun. Like you'll get used to it and you don't even really realize it because you've done it so much. The 52nd Daytona Black to Jamie yes. McMurray. Jamie McMurray is gonna win Daytona and the Brickyard 400 in the same year. Jamie McMurray, he will win tonight in Charlotte. Oh, I'm gonna be able to do better than him, but that would be pretty. <laughs> <laughs> that would be pretty hard since he won the Daytona 500. But yeah, hopefully I can do well and make it. Just remember how slick it's gonna be. I put a little extra air in the tires, so you got all your stuff. It's pretty fun to come back. As a kid, you know, it's what I grew up doing. And it's changed a lot, though. When my dad and I did this, we ha might have had a trailer a few times, but a lot of times it was in a pickup truck. You just showed up and you went go-kart racing. I got Jamie started in a go-kart when he was seven years old. So all we did was go to a racetrack. Jamie was very talented in the go-kart, and we won a lot of races. Carter's got a natural talent. He's really good at it. And, you know, he, he didn't get started at a real young age. As soon as we started him, he was really fast. When Jamie was young, I always told him, I said, when the fun goes out of it and you want to do something else, you let us know. Well, it never did. And I'm going to guess it'll probably be the same way with Carter. My grandpa, I like hanging out with him. He's just nice. He kind of knows everything, just kind of walks around, talks to everyone. I've never really had a connection with my dad other than through racing. We both like to fish, and we would go do that some. But really, our whole relationship has, has really just been around racing. It's pretty special. I mean, he's getting older now, and it's cool to get to have him come out and be a part of all of it. They all know my last name, but I just put that aside and go out and race as hard as I can. It's just every man for himself. You're just going to try to get everything that you can get. Racing is a pretty dangerous sport. If I get in a wreck, I get in a wreck. But I'm going to suit up as quick as I can and go back out and race. Hey, good job. Emotions are really high. It's crazy that you're racing for this little plastic trophy, but everybody puts a lot of work into it, and everybody wants to win, like any sport. So right after those races, it's a little bit uh, testy. What happened? Oh no. He just went around the outside of me and Mason got the crossover, and I couldn't do anything. Yeah, you got to run the guy wide on the exit eight. Like when you're in the inside, you know they get outside. You just have to keep. You know what I mean? Like you're probably too nice there. What happens when you get on the outside of somebody? What do they do? Huh? They run you off the racetrack, right? That's why you don't ever go to the outside. You just can't, you know what I'm saying?
when we go back and we watch the video, it looks so much different from the driver's perspective than what it, what it does from us watching. There's a lot going on out there. It's so easy standing on the sidelines to be like, you should have done this, but I always try to go back and watch that video first and then kind of break it down with him. Even if you get beside him there, like you just can't, no, you're gonna get run off. And even if you cross him over, if you don't clear him, you're gonna get run off in the next corner, you know? If I make a bad decision, he'll be honest with me, like, you shouldn't have done this, you should have done this better. Or he'll be like, you did a great job here, and he'll point the better things out. You gotta make good decisions, you know? Like, that's what it's the whole thing is about. Hey, just remember, you know, like, you leave the pits, it's gonna be definitely slick, you know, for like the outlap and everything. Have fun, I love you. I felt like I drove a pretty good, clean race. Being really smart and knowing what moves you need to make in those final two laps. Don't overdrive it, just set in the limits and get to the checkered. There you go. Good job, Carter. And your winner, number 740, Carter McMurray. I was a little bit bummed out after the first race. Obviously, I wish I could have gotten a better result, but yeah, it feels good to win the X30 race. He was their NASCAR driver, so I take his advice <laughs> pretty well. But um, yeah, he'll give me some good tips and pointers. He works on my cart pretty hard. I'm glad I get to spend time with him. It's just, it's the greatest, you know, way to spend this life with your kid. We've been together for like 14 hours today, right? Like, I mean, it's just, it's just incredible. When we're away from the racetrack, you, you don't spend that much time together, right? Like this is one of those things that kind of brings you together. He did a really good job today. I, I, I know that there was a lot of pressure on him and he was disappointed with what happened in the first race, but lots of ups and downs in racing and we got to have both of those today.